everybody welcome back to my channel today i want to show you unbox and show you this two auto soldering kit i picked this up on amazon it goes for around a hundred dollars and it looks like a high quality set so i definitely want to make a video and show you guys so this is what it looks like and the reason why i picked this one is because it comes with a it's like a soldering station but it also comes with like this little heat gun which is good for like uh, melting those little shrink wrap thingies around your wires and and we'll go over that in a second So here is the soldering uh, and rework station. Here's the base, what it looks like, soldering or rework. You can see up and down, back, channel one, two, and three. There's a port right here, lead free, rubberized corners right here. This feels really solid. Nothing uh, is like uh, moving around inside. There's a fuse on off switch and the power input right there. And this is the model DS882. Here is the soldering thing right here. Where you put your soldering gun. Here is the soldering gun itself. There's some solder or, or whatever they want to call it. Some tips. And tweezers and that's it that's the whole package all right i'm gonna read the manual for a little bit get acclimated with this set it up and i'll be right back all right guys so i've assembled the the soldering set so basically i've plugged in my soldering gun right here my soldering tip right here it comes already with the tip already pre-installed as you can see but you can change it for some of these other tips that are also included in the package uh, like I said, there are tweezers. There's this attachment right here. And I think that was it. And obviously you have this. Stuff that you melt, the solder. And the gun, uh, the, the soldering tip right here goes right in here. But you also have this brass metal here. So you can kind of just kind of stab at it to get this tip clean as you're using it there's also a sponge right here that I can wet and I can like just kind of clean the tip as well but I'm just gonna use the brass uh, sponge for today and then we have this heating gun element thing right here that's what it looks like and that sits right here and then just a minor correction this is the menu button up down return and there's three presets that you can control this one controls soldering this one controls the rework which is this and i'm gonna set this to around between 600 to 650 or up to 700 and this one will probably be around 350 degrees okay but first let me um solder first so let me get a wire so here's a little piece of wire i should have gotten a a, a wire stripper to make this a little easier but I'll cut this in half and let me see if I can just strip some of this and here I have it stripped and I'm going to attempt to connect these back together okay all right so let's see let's set the temperature so let me turn it on in the back there's a switch right here oh the display lights up I'm gonna change this to Fahrenheit first by going to number eight, it's on Celsius. Let me hit the button, it's flashing. Change to Fahrenheit, press it again to save. And now I'm gonna go back to soldering and it says soldering right there. So the temperature is preset to like 700. I'm gonna hit it, change that to like Six fifty and save it right there. So that's saved. Okay, so now we can go back 
and let this heat up. So now, now that I set the temperature, I'm going to long press the soldering button. And now it says soldering and the temperature is rising right now. And the target is 650. Right now it's like heating up and it's heating up really fast. Look at that. There's also a setting to preserve the temperature, but I'm not using the wet sponge. So the temperature should stay pretty much the same. And I'm at target guys. I'm there. And I'm going to just split up the wires like this so that I can get it to mesh with the other side. It's not doing too good. Let me change the temperature. Because the default was like a little over 700 Fahrenheit. So 731. Let's do that. And now it's heating up. There it is, 731. Let's see if I get better results like this. It's definitely hot. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Whoops, I got some on the plastic. All right, and that's bonded pretty nicely right now. And there's a little bit of solder stuck on a tip here. I'm just going to take it, give it a few stabs and twist. I didn't use the sponge because it would bring the temperature down, but look how clean this looks now. Very nice. I'm going to put this back in the base and I'm going to turn the soldering part off by long pressing. And now it's off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around. I'm going to get some shrink tube. I mean, you can use electrical tape as well, but let me see which one of these would fit. This one might be just right. like this and now I'm going to turn on the heat gun and try to melt it. And what I'm going to do is try to melt from the middle out. So the heat gun according to this temperature setting for re rework handle is number four. And I think we should be in the 400 range. So I'm going to number one four is 392 by default. Uh, let me just get it to like 400. Set, long press to turn it on. Oh. Long press on the home screen. Here we go. So as soon as I pick it up, it starts to go up to 400 and there it is. So I'm just going to put this here and you can see it's melting. and it contours to the shape of the wire. Look at that. And this seals it. I mean, a lot of people put some gels and everything to make it like waterproof and all, but that's all it is. I'm done. I'm gonna put this back and turn it off. And that's, that guys, is how you can solder and seal a wire with shrink wrap, shrink, whatever this thing is, shrink tubing. And this is pretty solidly connected together. Hopefully you found this helpful. Again, this is the 2Auto DS882 high, efficient, high efficiency soldering station with the soldering gun, the heat gun, 
and accessories and make sure you keep this handy because this tells you which mode goes to what. So in case anybody ever loses it and asks, here are the product specifications and the menu settings. Pause if you need to. Here's the next set of menu settings. Some maintenance tips. Replacing the solder tip, how to do that is right here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.